Hey guys, ECU team here with you, and uh, we're going to talk about ESLs today, otherwise known as electronic steering locks. So, on a lot of older Mercedes, uh, um, on the steering column, there's an, uh, what's called an ESL uh, electronic steering lock, and what that is is it ties in with the key and the ignition switch and uh, prevents the car from being stolen back in the day. But when they fail, the problem is that when they fail, they can be stuck in the closed position or locked position. And uh, at that point, you're kind of you're kind of screwed because even if you disconnect this connector, the car won't start. It needs to see the data and it needs to unlock the steering wheel in order to uh, start the car and drive the car. So today we're going to go over um, removing this ESL from the column um, in the event that it's stuck in the lock position. When it's unlocked, you can unbolt this and uh, just drop it. It drops right out. If it's stuck locked, then you have to do something to remove this this portion here. So what we're going to do here is show you how to remove this. Now, obviously, this isn't in the uh, it's not in a car. I've already have one out, but uh, the principle is the same, and uh, you'll use this method to uh, to get it out when it's stuck. So. Um, assuming that this was locked, what you what you got to do is if you have a step bit, these are commonly found in stores. What you're going to do is so so there's a there's a gear in here that turns, and I'll I'll show you one open in a second. And that turns, and when you rotate that gear, it pulls this lock backwards this direction when you turn this gear. So if you can get to that gear, uh, you use a a pick tool, and you can pick at the the gear to open up this lock so you can unbolt this thing and drop it out. So you're going to want to drill a hole not any further past this one step and really you don't even want to go that far. You just want to go a little bit, just enough to expose the gear. That's it. Right about here. Right about here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So we've gone ahead and drilled the hole right in the spot and if you can see in there I'm losing my light here there's a small gear let's see if we can see it this way like I was talking about and what you do is you take a pick tool and you can kinda pick at this and pull it down slowly it's kinda difficult to do but it's possible You're pulling this gear down and what that does is it pulls the lock back into the position so that you can unbolt this thing. It pulls the lock backwards, which is normally sticking out like this. Pulls it backwards in so you can unbolt this and drop the whole thing out. At that point, if you want a, uh, we can clone these, but in reality, it's better to just get an emulator and uh, that we can program for you and replace this, and then you'll never have that problem again in your older Mercedes. Just for showing purposes, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay. So what we were doing was you were pulling this gear, which rotates this, and it turns this because this is what's failed usually. Uh, it rotates this and it pulls this guy backwards right here like this. like this. As you rotate this, it pulls this backwards like that. And it allows this to, this is the pin, see? It allows this to, so when it's backwards, it allows that to pull up free so that you can unbolt and drop it right out off the column. And because uh, we need this in order to make you an emulator, we need this. We need this portion right here. There's a uh, there's circuitry in here that we have to get at to program for your emulator. Uh, it goes with the key and the EIS. They all talk to each other, replaces this whole entire thing. And you'll never have that problem again. So that's it for today. Uh, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Press the like button, press the subscribe bell. Thanks for watching. ECU team, get at us.